We're here, Dal Rantoni Saganya, for our Athlete of the Week. Today we have Taylor Bonner, who plays soccer for the JFK Islanders. Jack? Congratulations. On behalf of Dial Rantoni, who would you like to donate your check to? Um, I'd like to donate this check to EMC Cancer Foundation. JFK riding an 8 0 record in this year's Boys Soccer League, undefeated. I feel like this year we play more as a team than we did any other year before. We're working really well together because most of us have played with each other almost our whole lives. Last game against the Ukudu Bulldogs, you were able to score four goals in that game. Yes. Um, I think it was because my team and I played very aggressive on the offensive side, and we really wanted to score most, the most goals and prove who we are as a team. What's the experience been like for you at uh, JFK playing as a soccer player? Um, I feel like my, this team has treated me really well. Even last year when I was a freshman, I fit really well. And we are just like a family to each other. Our coach has always been positive to us, towards us. And he'll, he'll always correct our mistakes when he knows we're making mistakes that shouldn't be made. You're a member of the Guam Junior National soccer team. What's uh, lined up for you guys in the future? Um, we have a tournament in September coming up against Asia, and we're looking to hopefully do good in that one, too. Congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dow Rents on Athlete of the Week. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Our men's national basketball team improved to 4-0 at the FIBA Asia Cup pre-qualifiers in Thailand. Guam defeated Indonesia last night 65-53. Ernest Ross Jr. going to the rack. He finished with 13 points. Ty Wesley put up a game high 19 points, 11 rebounds, and 3 assists. Guam will next face Macau tonight at 9 p.m. Malaysia tomorrow at 3 in the afternoon. You can catch all the games streaming live on YouTube at FIBA Asia Cup.